A wild day in Cincinnati, and good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Colello. Two farm animals on the loose today. WLWT News Five's Emily Wood is live for us in South Fairmount tonight, where a runaway cow was cornered by police. Emily. Mike and Jury, police officers say today was definitely a first having not one but two animals on the loose, less than three miles or three hours apart. The first was a pig officers found in North College Hill just before nine o'clock this morning. The second was a cow found trotting here southbound on the Western Hills Viaduct around 11 o'clock. <laughs> In the middle of midday traffic, this brown cow broke free from his slaughterhouse handlers heading for the west side. Tow truck driver Chris Poor saw the massive animal being chased down the viaduct and offered the handlers a ride to catch up. One was a truck driver that was delivering another truckload of cows and uh, he pulled his gun out. And after it, it kind of verified what I thought was the body language from the cow was very angry and aggressive. In this video, you can see the cow charge at one of the handlers with a rifle. Police say the cow was shot once, charged a second time, then shot again and killed. Because he probably saved a lot of people from getting hurt if not killed. In North College Hill, hours before the cow made a run for it, police captured this full grown pig on the loose in a residential neighborhood. All I can think of is maybe it was a piglet and they thought it was cute and then it grew up to be too big and they were just like, yeah, I don't want this. With no one to claim it, the pig was safely corralled at the police department until the SPCA came to pick it up. And tonight, that tow truck driver that we spoke with actually towed the cow back to the slaughterhouse. We reached out to them, Tri State Beef, to find out more about the cow and what might have happened and how he got out. And we're told no comment. Reporting live tonight in South Fairmount, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. Now, police say one of the slaughterhouse employees was injured when the cow fell on his leg today, but he refused medical treatment. 